The Boeing KC-46 Pegasus is a military refueling and strategic aircraft developed by Boeing based on the 767-200 design. In February 2011, the KC-46 tanker was selected by the United States Air Force as a winner in the tanker competition to replace their aging KC-135 strata tankers which were introduced in service in June 1957. They already made up the backbone of the United States Air Force tanker fleet for many decades, and in that lifetime, the KC 135s had received many modernization upgrades, such as new engines and a cockpit modernization, to extend the life of the airframe and to meet the emerging requirements of the Army. However, due to the upcoming maintenance checks that would have costed too much to keep the fleet operational, the Air Force decided to procure a replacement, and Boeing was one of the contenders that would offer the KC-46 as a replacement to take the KC-135's place. The first KC-46 was delivered on the 10th of January 2019 after a delivery ceremony took place instead of the original August 2017 delivery day, which is a two-year delivery day which two KC-46s have already flown to the McConnell Air Base where it will be based at. Boeing has only received 52 orders for the aircraft by the United States Air Force, which follows a contract in December for the first foreign order of a single tanker for Japan. The first two United States Air Force buys were finalized in August 2016 for a total of 19 aircraft, and a third order for another 15 KC-46s was added in January 2017, with the fourth in September 2018 for another 18 planes. Now, the Army is planning on buying another 179 KC-46s over the course of the program, and to date, Boeing has completed more than 4,000 contracts during flights with a range of their military aircraft. However, there have been many delays and issues, with their main problem originating from the tanker's refueling boom system. The first new deficiency, which the service has referred to situations where the boom operators unintentionally provided an input into the flight control stick that induced loads on the boom while it was in contact with a receiver aircraft. This has caused stealth aircraft such as the B-2 bomber to become unstealthy, which is a serious problem and this can lead to huge disadvantage in an undesired location. At that time, the KC-46 had no way to notify the operators when it was happening. The second issue was found when the pilots of the receiver aircraft reported that the boom was too stiff during the part of the process, when the receiver plane moved forward into the fuel transfer zone. These are Category 1 deficiencies, which usually disqualifies a plane from procurement until they are resolved. In fact, the contract stipulates that the Air Force can withhold up to $28 million per aircraft on the $4.9 billion contract for 52 tankers until the bugs are fixed. In a statement, Boeing has said that they have continued to work with the Air Force to determine a path forward, and the refueling system has been tested extensively, which is advertised as a well-tested system that works. Now, with no doubt the KC-46 program has notoriously been above cost, and Boeing's fixed-price contract with the Air Force has forced it to pay out more than $3.4 billion to cover these overruns. Despite the steep expenses of procurement, the Air Force hopes that the KC-46 will help lower operating costs thanks to the more fuel-efficient engines. It can even fuel three aircraft at a time using additional refueling pods on the tips of its wings, which can deliver up to 400 gallons per minute. With the first KC-46s already delivered, we saw a particularly interesting event during the delivery transaction where the Air Force refused to pay $40 million of the original price because the airplane did not fulfill the requirement functions just yet. Furthermore, this will cost Boeing more time, meaning more delays, and more money to keep the tanker in operational use as advertised. So Captains, what do you think about this situation? And will you think the KC-46 will finally reach its long-awaited success after major technical problems and cost delays? Let me hear what your thoughts are in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching guys, leave a like and subscribe as always, and I hope to see you in the next one.